lovelies, how are you today? And welcome to my channel. My name is Sharon and I'm the sole proprietor of SAEH Body Butter. And I hope you enjoy the next video. Thank you. Okay, this is my design that I created in Cricut Design Space. And what I like to do is do a template of how it's gonna, how I hope it to look on top of the table. So this is how I got it, you know, section off with the two colors. And then I have the name and then I have the uh, different decals. So I like to uh, set it up this way. That way, um, you know, if you're doing something for a customer, you can give them a visual of what it's going to look like. And then they can say, you know, add this or take away this or yes, I like it. So this is going to go on the top of the table. And then at the bottom, I'm going to put uh, the player's name. That's on that crossbar at the bottom where the uh, legs are at. And so this is in vinyl. All the wording is in vinyl. And the pictures, I'm going to put that on printable vinyl. So I'm getting ready to print that out so it can be ready when the table finished drying. So I'll bring you back when the table dries and I get ready to put on the... Uh, decals and the vinyl. Hello lovelies, I'm about to do another football TV tray table. So the first step in my process is to lightly sand down the top of it because it, it has like a sheen to it and even though the uh, spray paint will adhere to it I think it'll give it a more smooth appearance and easier application if you rough up the surface some. So you don't have to do nothing major. And I just have this handheld sander. And so my first process is to sand it down. sanding it down I still have a little more to do what I'll do is take a, a damp cloth with some alcohol and wipe it off to get off the uh, all the dust and debris and then I'll tape it off and then prepare it for spray paint okay I finished lightly sanding it and I'll just take a damp cloth and clean off the dust and debris. And then I'll set the table to the side because right now it's damp. I don't know if you can see all the dust that came off. As a matter of fact, I think I'll take another cloth and wipe it again just to make sure. And like I said, just wipe off the dust and debris and let it sit for a little bit for the table to dry before you apply the uh, your spray paint. And the legs are okay. They're not as shiny as the top of the table. So I'll bring you back after I get it taped off and get ready to apply my first coat of spray paint. Okay, I have the table upside down in a box. I'm going to spray paint the underside of the table as well as the legs. And I'm going to spray paint this black. And I have it inside this box so that I won't have to take it outside. And hopefully it'll catch the overspray. So this is just basic spray painting nothing fancy 
no tricks. So I'll bring you back when I finish. Okay, I bought this portion outside because the table is taller this way than the box. So I would experience overspray inside the house. And as you can see how I taped off the table. So I'm going to paint this portion one color black. And then I'm going to paint the other. No. I'm going to paint this portion purple. So I need to go get my purple paint. This is the sealant that I use, uh, the poly acrylic crystal clear finish, clear gloss. And I'll just spray um, two coats on it. One this direction, all the way. And then I'll come back and spray it the other direction. And let that sit overnight. I also will spray the legs to make sure that the uh, that the paint doesn't chip if you bump up against it because that won't uh, get any epoxy only the top of the table and around the sides will get the epoxy so I'll bring you back okay I'm gonna paint this side of the table purple And like I said before, it's just basic spray painting. And then I'll let this portion of the table dry for a couple of hours. I'll remove the tape and the covering on the other side. And then I'll paint the other side black. So I'm spray painting the top part of the table purple. And then I gotta go down and spray paint the uh, this part of the legs purple. So I'm gonna try to come from this side as not to get this purple on the legs that I painted black. So I'll finish painting up and show you the completion of this side before I tape off the other side. So this is me finished spray painting that half of the top of the table and both sides of the legs are painted. The left side is purple and the right side is black. So once this purple side finish, I'll remove the taping off and I'll spray paint that portion of the table black. And that will be it as far as the spray painting. And I'll wait for that to dry a couple of hours before I put the decals on. So I'll bring you back when I get to that portion. Okay, this is the second and final part of the table that I have to spray paint. And then I'll let that dry before I put the decals on it. And this side is going to be painted black. Sorry about that. Okay, I think it's more stable now. It's not hard, it's just somewhat time consuming because you have to spray some 
let it dry, then spray some and let it dry. So depending on how many colors that you have will determine how long it will take. And that's basically it. So I'll let that dry for about five minutes and then I'll hit the top again with another coating. And then I'll take it back in the house and let it dry for about four hours before I put the decals on it. So I'll bring you back when I get to that point. Okay, this is the top of the completed table. So I'm waiting for the paint to completely dry before I put the decals on it. But I think it turned out pretty good. I had a, a little scratches on it and I had to go make some uh, paint tweaking on it. Uh, when I pulled up the tape, uh, some of the paper had stuck to it. But once I get the decals and everything, the uh, blemishes won't show. But this is how it's looking so far. Okay, I almost forgot to return on the recorder. I've already placed the main decal. Hopefully it's centered to the best of my ability. Um, now the next part will be to put on the rest of the decals. But I need to pull it up on the computer so that I can remember what it looks like. So let me pull it up on the computer and I'll bring you back. Okay, so this is just basic placement. Um, you know, you place it the way you, you created your design. And so I'm planning to put all the decals on tonight and then I'm going to spray it with a sealant so that it can seal the decals in. I'm not too much worried about the, uh, the vinyl but the decals, yes, I want to make sure it's sealed because sometimes when you put epoxy on it, if it's not down all the way the epoxy can get underneath it and lift up your decal and I don't want that to happen Just checking okay and I just have the vinyl to put at the top and the bottom But each piece is cut into two parts. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> place it on upside down. To make sure that it's centered. <clears throat> A 
as best as it can get. change it up. I'm going to put it in this corner. As you can see, I cut the word in half, so I have the top half, one color, and the bottom half, another color, and since I split the uh, decal in half, I put the gold behind it, I mean not split the decal, I split the, uh, the color of the board in two colors so that if the black was on top of the black, you might couldn't, it wouldn't stand out, so I put the gold behind it so it can stand out. You'll see once I uh, finish. And I use the low tack transfer tape, Dollar Tree contact paper, so that it wouldn't pull the paint off since I didn't allow it to uh, dry for 24 hours. Now, this is going to be the difficult part for me because I have to get it close enough so that the word can make sense. Let me move you in closer so you can see what I'm talking about. You see the top half is black and the bottom half is purple, but behind each of it is the gold so it can stand out. So, I'm going to do, I have Baltimore and at the bottom I have Territory. So I'm going to place that on and I'll bring you back when I finish. Okay, this is the almost finished product. And then at the bottom of the table, tilt it. And that's it. So I'm going to spray it with a sealer. Let me get that out so I can show you which sealant I use. And I'll just spray it 
and let it sit overnight that way I know that my decals will be sealed especially around the edges that no epoxy will get underneath it and cause it to uh, come up so I'll let this sit overnight and then tomorrow afternoon I'll apply epoxy on it and I will show you how that looks this is the sealant that I use uh, the poly acrylic crystal clear finish clear gloss and I'll just spray um, two coats on it one this direction all the way and then I'll come back and spray it the other direction and let that sit overnight I also will spray the legs to make sure that the uh, that the paint doesn't chip if you bump up against it because that won't uh, get any epoxy only the top of the table and around the sides will get the epoxy so I'll bring you back okay I'm getting ready to epoxy the top of the table I put tape on the bottom of each leg post just in case some epoxy drip on my mat so I'm basically just going to apply the epoxy on top of the table and around the sides so I'm not going to show you the uh, and me doing the entire process because my hands gonna get messy and I'm not gonna be able to turn off the camera so what I'll do is I'll start the process with one clean hand and then I'll turn the camera off and bring you back when I finish so basically I'm just smoothing it over and we know that epoxy is self-leveling you know so once you get it eat all the areas covered it'll smooth its way out and then when I get the entire table covered I will come back and hit it uh, with the blowtorch to pop any air bubbles And I'm using about eight ounces of epoxy, equal parts A and B. So that's four parts A, four parts B. Mine says mix it together for five minutes and then have added. So basically, this is the process. I'll bring you back when I'm finished. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. See that shine, that gloss? The epoxy is on there. It's fully covered on the top and around the edges of the table. Um, I tape underneath of the table around four corners so that if any epoxy drip, it won't build up underneath the table so I'll let the tape sit under there for about an hour that way I know the dripping has stopped and I'll pull it off at that time before it seals and then that way the drips will be on the tape and not on the underside of the table alrighty so I'll bring you back when it has completely dried for 24 hours this is the finished product it's the epoxy for me. I love the shine that it gives. It's like a glass-like shine. It shines so much that I can see my reflection on the table. And I was proud of myself because this was my first time layering vinyl. Because I kind of like knew that since I had the two-tone table and the lettering were both two-toned that it wouldn't stand out with it being just purple and black so I put the gold behind it and it makes it pop I love how this one turned out I'm anxious and excited to do my next one alrighty that'll be it bye bye